watch regular programming to bring you a message. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Mike's Retro Tech, and another video. Uh, as you can see, I've got a music keyboard, MIDI, USB, um, you know, fairly old, early 2000s I believe it is, and this one is an Evolution uh, EVS, no, sorry, an Evolution MK, 449C USB model and as you can see it's missing a dial a dial cap and also it's missing some of these now because this keyboard is as I said early 2000s there's none of these available there's the there's the 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 e keys 49 which is the keyboard without all this stuff on it no LCD display, no numbers here. But this is like the upgraded top of the range version for the 2000s. Uh, I believe M Audio now owns Evolution. Uh, I don't know, maybe, possibly. But I know some of the E keys from M Audio look the same as this. Anyway, I picked this up off eBay ooh, six months ago for about 35 quid, untested. Uh, the, the guy hadn't plugged it in. So when you plug it in, it does work. This lights up, it connects via USB or MIDI. Uh, show you this it's got if I can without breaking things on the back there it's got MIDI sustain pedal power USB and then whether it's on or off uh, so it's in a constant state of on at the moment and there's the USB C power MIDI out yeah and sustain pedal and I've got it it's quite heavy actually I've got it on one of these stands so not bad at all and as you can see the office is a bit of a mess the floor needs a clean and i need to patch up the bits there where the loft risers are so the floor's a bit springy anyway what i'm going to do today is replace that now because this is so old i can't get these at all anywhere so what i've got off ebay I've got some pot knobs. Now, I measured here with my digital calipers, and this is six millimeters. So I bought, as you can see, some of these multicolored set blue, yellow, red, and white. I bought two sets of these because there's obviously there's eight of these, and five came in a set. So I've got two spares, so there's two white spare, which is fine. So I'm going to try, if I can, to put these on. Now, what might happen is it might not fit because you can see there's like little tines in there, there's little tangs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe. And I have a feeling that pushing them in might, yeah, you see, I, I did try that before. And as you can see, it's pushing those down. It won't go any further. So I'm going to have to take those off and make it smooth. And then they should fit. So I'm going to do that now. And I'll come back in a minute when I've filed those down. And we'll see whether this fits on that potentiometer arm. A few moments later. Okay, so with my file, I've just got a very thin, round, circular file. I have taken, as you can see, the tines off the inside it needs some sandpaper just to make it a bit smoother but then here that goes on there yeah look at that oh see it's a bit it's a bit wobbly it needs a bit Needs a bit of TLC in there, I think, to go onto there. And obviously these ones are keyed properly. So if I can't find any of these, what do you do? You have to buy <clears throat> six millimeter ones that fit. And then they sort of fit. Um, it's not the most ideal in the world, but I'm gonna put, I think, blue, red, yellow, white, blue, red, yellow, white, just to make them consistent. And then eventually, I'm gonna find some of these six millimeter tines in there, cause those are 
six millimeter in size in the middle the, the 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 second one in there the middle one and then they obviously fit on there and you know they're the they're the sliders i have got a set of these on watch on ebay but they're only four millimeter internal block and uh, they won't fit so they might i have to buy those and and you know fiddle around with those maybe but that'll be another video when i've got those so for the remainder of this video i'm going to put blue red yellow white blue red yellow white and then i'll show you at the end of it when i've done it what it looks like a few moments later okay so 10 minutes later or so seven of these off as you can see they're keyed there's like a a square lip on the top so these ones obviously don't have that and by taking the middle out it makes them fit so i've got two of those spare which i used as as test templates with my dremel so i use my multi-tool with a very very oh can you see that focus a very very fine abrasive sandstone bit and then i just whiz around the center of each of these and as you can see they fit on nicely and yeah brilliant so blue red yellow white blue red yellow white so there we go oh and also i used a plastic spudger to lift those off because you couldn't pull them off with your finger they were quite tight so i think this is pretty good this has given this old keyboard a good at least a new lease of life really so that's those there and then in the next video hopefully i'll be able to get some of these and replace all these i'm hoping to get larger ones with white centers you know with like the marker so because you saw before those are just those are just black with like nothing just a little ridge in the middle they're a bit near you know but standard from all those years ago anyway that for the moment is part one is the end of part one of this video so that was the updating of the evolution mk 449c usb midi keyboard so thanks for watching uh, if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell notification icon and then all so that you get notifications when i upload more videos if you've got a smartphone download the youtube app and then you'll get push notifications when i upload more videos uh, leave me a comment have you got one of these do you know where you can get these from as spares because it might be worth buying just one more of those uh just to make sure i've got a full set of eight of the original ones and then a full set of these uh, just to make it more stock uh, but i like this I do like these multicolors now it makes it mine it makes it more of my own uh my own uh, device but there you go that's the evolution mk 449c usb midi keyboard a uh, bit of a not a refurbishment as such but a bit of a zhuzh and a touch up and a make better um and then once it's all done i'll demonstrate it using reason or something like that just so you can see that it works and i'll show you the screen on it and what the buttons do but yeah, for the moment, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.